So about a um, year and a half, two years ago, yeah. they um, used to be we only had access to books. Uh -huh. Books and, and whatever they would print off of uh, the computer for us yeah. and send it to us. But then about a year and a half to two years ago, they, um, they went to these computers and they, they decided that it was uh, more cost effective not to print off so much material yeah. and not to have to purchase new books all the time, but to just have computers that could be hooked up to, um, there's a, a legal site that they use called Le LexisNexis. Uh -huh. And um, it's a it's a legal search engine that basically has it was a database that has every decision from every court in the country that comes up, along with like uh -huh. some other things like some law reviews and, and and associated things like that. And so you can search these things just like you mm -hmm. would uh, like on Google or something like that, put yeah. in keywords and whatnot. Okay, so then you read something, and then <clears throat> through this interview process, I will then share it. Uh, via social networks. So is there a way that you could take just this one topic, this one ruling, and put it in layman's terms so the people that oh, hear yeah. it, yeah, it's what, easy. What, what, what is your impression or uh, what, what do you think about these rulings? And how could you explain it in a way that someone could understand, one of your peers, someone younger? Sure, it's, it's real easy. I mean, okay. uh, I mean, they write it in technical language yeah. and stuff because that's what, that's what judges do. Um, but um, you can boil it down real easy. So what what this really big landmark decision is saying is that when a state is taking a juvenile and, and they're treating them like an adult and they're sending them through the adult system and charging them with crimes and, and trying them like an adult, um, they're still not an adult. And if they get found guilty and they're going to be sentenced, uh, they can't be sentenced in the exact same way as an adult either. Um, a judge has to consider their, uh, the fact that they're a juvenile, and because of that, even for the most serious of crimes, the judge can't automatically impose um, a life without parole sentence. Instead, the judge has to consider the fact that, that he's dealing with a, with a, you know, a kid, and he, has to, um, he or she has to um, take that into account and have the option of, of giving a lesser sentence, one that might let them eventually get released, or um, or doing life without parole. The, the option needs to be there for the judge, and the judge's hand can't be forced. Um, most states nowadays, they just have automatic sentences that take any kind of um, uh, discretion outside the hands of the judge. So the judge has to impose a particular sentence. He can't, he, can't, he or she can't um, um, make their own decision about what's fair based on the, based on the individual circumstances of the case. Well, what Miller wants to do is take that away and make it, put it back in the hands of the judge.